super cute. I just haven't decided which colorway I want. Oh, the wicker tabby. These are already on sale. I have them and I like how they have the crystal throughout them. 1950. I feel like what comes around goes around is always expensive, girl. Y no mames lo manche, so I have to clean that baby up. What is up, you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. Today we are at the Woodlands Mall. It's kind of like a suburb here in Houston. I think it's kind of like Frisco and Plano of Dallas, like Allen. I think that's what it is. Like, girl, this drive was a little bit of a drive, girly. I felt like it was like poquito. Like, um, normally when I lived like in Oakland, like in Dallas, I feel like. Girl, I'm playing on Frisco, girl. I'm there like 35 minutes tall. Girl, this is like a 45 minute dri drive. And I was like, girl, she said me so poquito lejitos. And then I looked at the time of my Starbucks drink and I was like, girl, I was like, girl, see, girl, it was a little bit of a drive, but whatever. Um, I'm going to be giving you off of the day and everything. Today, I'm carrying my tote bag, uh, Terry Cloth Edition by Marc Jacobs, and my Misan Michelle hat. I think they got el Starbucks aquí. I thought I'm going to chug it on. I'm going to get a bottle of water because I'm really dehydrated. I feel like I've been so dehydrated here lately, but you know it's, it's it's houston it's hot it's 99 degrees afuera so you know i have to put some so today we're just gonna be exploring we're gonna see kiki what's new i kind of want to get out of houston but i didn't want to go to like austin or dallas so i was like you know what let's go here for a little bit and then go back to be uh houston city girl so um yeah if you guys give this video a thumbs up because i did <laughs> drive here a little bit and girl and if you guys know anything about the woodlands the city definitely let me know down below and stay tuned because i will do one for the houston galleria which is like right by my apartment like which is like creme de la creme shopping yeah and everything that i talk about or any like my outfit details will be linked down below the denim that i'm wearing right now is so good i've been wearing these denim non-stop and it is so good so let's go ahead and see what the willens mall is all about kind of i will kind of want to see what's new kind of get inspiration for um spring well it's not spring no more said heel kind of get more kind of like summer vibes and so let's go ahead, girl. I'm burning up because I have to turn the AC a little bit down. And let's go ahead and have some fun, guys. Yeah, this definitely gives very, like, Frisco, Plano-y vibe. Literally a Lamborghini right there, kind of, like, outside. So let's see what this is about. Kind of like a newer Nordstrom. It definitely gives Stonebriar vibes. Um, I kind of want to compare it last just because I feel like that's, like, the best of the best. I kind of want to see... The other stores and kind of see what they have but yeah so far this is a really really pretty store and obviously everybody's kind of getting their kind of last father's day gifts because the day that i'm filming this it is father's day so yeah let's go ahead and walk around here's some cute carl lagerfeld bags they are 25 percent off I know I saw like TikToks of people talking about these bags. This retails for two forty eight. I saw a lot of people talking negative things about them on TikTok, and I actually think they're really great. They're saying like Carl Lagerfeld would be upset if his bags, if he saw what the brand is. Well, he sold the rights to his name, so. Um, but I actually really like the quality is really there. I remember one time I showed a bag from Dillard's, and a lot of you guys actually went out and purchased it. And you know, DM me, emailed me about it. Um, but I think they're really great. I think the quality is really great compared to other brands but i really like it like this is really cute you can tell the embellishments and everything is really perfect now this is where you kind of lose me like these are a little bit too novelty i don't really like pride merchandise i'm not a big pride person but something like this i would definitely wear i think it's so beautiful i think it's really really well made like like if you guys felt this bag um actually i'm gonna link this below because i feel like it's gonna be a really great one here's kind of like that kind of chanel flap style i mean technically he did create the chanel flap bag so i mean technically it is a carl lagerfeld bag that he created so technically it is some of his bags but i don't like all of them but that goes for every brand i don't like everything from every single brand unless you're like anina bing or like the row or totem then maybe i'll like a little bit of everything that you guys have to offer but every brand like I'm not a big fan of this, but I like this one a lot. And I like the little hot stamping detail on it. I think it looks a little bit more sleek shading on it. I think I like that more of emboss of kind of like that newer kind of logo-ish on there. This is kind of another style that I'm not a big fan of just because I feel like it looks a little too novelty-ish. It doesn't look very, I don't know. I feel like it, it kind of doesn't bring your outfit a whole lot. Like I wouldn't wear it just because I feel like even though I'm 21, I feel like there's certain things that I feel like a little too not appropriate to wear. 
Here's this rough Lauren. It kind of looks like Soffiano, but it's not. Um, I think Ralph Lauren makes really great bags too. I think they're very kind of like that clean style. And that's what I like about them. Like I like this little perforated look. I think it's super cute. And it has no MSRP on it. But this is super cute. Um, I know Kate Spade uh, does a lot of that for off price. Here's some more of the croc from Lauren. Really pretty. I think they make really great like the everyday kind of bag. And then here's a little bit of Brahmin. I feel like Dillard's usually has like a little bit better selection. Brahmin's another brand that I like a lot. A bit of 30% off some Coach handbags, which is really cute. Oh look, they have this little kind of peri-tote with the feet at the bottom, which I really appreciate it. Oh, and then there's a, like a shopping center in Market Street. I really love these. I think they're Madison Puffer. Um, yeah, they're 3 dollars I actually prefer this size a little bit better than the other one. And I actually really like that this kind of green. Let's see what the actual color of it. Lime, key lime, has the silver hardware. Usually it would be more gold. But these pillow Madisons, I love a whole lot. I think they're so pretty. Because it has kind of like the classic turn lock, as you can see. But then it has the seat covered in that beautiful leather. Um, I really, really like it. Um, and I prefer this size just because, you know, I either want kind of like big bags or that. This is, I have a big bag because I have like a little bit of everything in there. I'll do a little what's in my bag um, in a second. Oh my God, they have these. These are new. I have not seen these guys. $2.95. Oh my God, these look like vintage bags. There's an Hermes bag that's kind of similar by this, but I know Coach made these bags like a while, like years ago. I think maybe my mom had something like this, like, girl, shout out to the Irving Mall. Um... They, my mom used to shop there before it became a Dillard's outlet, and I remember going as a kid and buying stuff. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, oh, that's pretty. The little details on there it has a little C. Oh, that's cute. Like I said, not a big Rainbow fan. I may get hate for that, but I'm just not a pride merchandise. Like you never really see me wear a lot of color. I'm just not a pride person. A little bit of Michael Kors with a chain. And then here's that pillow Madison and the next size up. Like I said, it's really great, but I think I really like the baby size. Especially like a little like dinner bag. I think this is perfect. This is a good everyday bag though. And I appreciate the magnetic closure in the back. Um, but I always get asked about the pillow Madison. A little suede. Here's the classic pillows and classic tabbies. Um, but I love, I love them all. I think this one went on sale on a few websites. I know they're doing their little sale right now. And maybe a few of them are on sale. But I love this one. I know I have one very similar. But as you can see, the colors are a little bit different. This is a little bit more whiter. It's not white, white, like that white. Actually, let's compare them. So this is like straight up white, kind of like the Cassie white. This is more of a cream and this is kind of like an in-between. So I like that you can kind of get along with the magnetic. Super cute. Here's a little bit of the monogram craze with Michael Kors. I really like that tote though, and I like how they put the shoes in there. I would probably get this one. I love the green. Let's see what the color. Two ninety eight. It's the Heady Head Eye, like the model. Um, Olive Multi. Two ninety eight. And recently, I've been into kind of showing the tags, so you guys can kind of like screenshot and kind of look at them. It's actually a really great size. And then here's kind of a kind of like a newer, updated version of some Bradshaws, and they have them in these kind of canvasy colors I actually really like this one or the blue one because i wear a lot of denim and then i remember my mom having something like this growing up that she bought at a dillard sale like years ago when my dad kind of started his side hustle i remember going to dillard's and my mom bought this uh variation so i know there's certain bags that can remind me of like my youth because i feel like my mom had some of them and then here's kind of like the green witch shoulder bag Oh, there's some cute Kate Spade shoes. These are really pretty. $2.28 for them. And I like the slides with the spades because it's very discreet. It doesn't have Kate Spade on it like this. It's more like this with the little spades. And these are $78, which I actually think is a really great price for them. But you can always go to Kate Spade's surprise sale 
um, it's their off price. I know I get asked if it's a legit website, and it is. Oh, these Michael Kors are really pretty. Kind of an Amina Mwai style, and they have them in a lot of colors. This is like the exact same color as my Bradshaw that I got last year in $125. I think that's a reasonable price. One thing I will say about like Coach, Michael Kors, and Kate Spade, I think their handbags are really well made, but I really think that their shoes are also really well made. And some people kind of look down on them. I mean, not look down, they pass by them, but I think they're also really great as well. Oh, these are really pretty. I saw uh, one of my favorite bloggers have them, and I like how they have the crystal throughout them in 99. I love all the embellishment details on them. You know, I kind of like to go through things and kind of see what's popular, what's trending, so I know what's best, and then things that obviously get trends that incorporate into my um, everyday style. But I've been seeing a lot of TikToks and a lot of reels on Instagram and a lot of YouTube videos uh, with the Steam Maddens. They've been coming through. I mean, personally, they have like these Gucci shoes, like, I, like you know, these little jelly ones. I prefer the Steve Madden ones because I like how they don't have any branding. Literally, for the price, I think they're three ninety. You can literally buy one, two, maybe like three. You can buy like 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 seven, eight pairs of the exact same shoes, especially if they're on sale. Like nine of them, you can have them in all the colors, which is one that says Gucci on it. Because at the end of the day, it's it's rubber. It's not a big deal. But Misty Madden has been doing such a really great, oh my God, these little Versace moments. Girl, I'm 5'11", this would definitely make me like 6'1". I know a lot of people don't like them, but I think I'm kind of here for them. But I would definitely get the Steve Madden versions if I were gonna go and not get the Versace ones. And the reason is, as you can see, there's already like fingerprints and indentations just on the floor model. And probably the Versace ones are probably made a lot better, but they're just, this material gets a lot of they get trash very easily. Something like this, um, you know, you take it out to a bar or a club, even if it's like a really nice bar or club, you know, accidents happen and you can get, you know, a little sp spill on it and it's very hard to get those off. Just kind of like these Amina Mawadi styles. But yeah, I would say within the last, I would say within the last two years, I would say Steve Madden. I mean, they've always been that girl, but I feel like some of them have been a little bit better. These are also really pretty. And for the most part, they are kind of comfortable. I know there's like those TikToks is like, oh, you know, like Steve Madden's a motherfucker because his shoes are, are not comfortable. And then I'm wearing my Ginza sandals from the road that I got um, in Los Angeles last year. I will um, put that TikTok right now so you guys kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. This is, a, this is a, a message to Steve Madden. He's a motherfucker. We got the last minute shoppers for fragrance. That's something that my my brother is like notorious for. Now I remember, I saw a video from Pocket and Bose. I love her channel. I'll leave it linked down below. I watch all of her videos. I never miss any of them. She did a whole video on Express. So that's why I'm kind of in here, just kind of like looking at some of the items. Oh my God, this would go really pretty with my Bradshaw handbag from Michael Kors. Uh, super cute, this beautiful knit. But you know, for me, since I'm a guy, you know, things that are very thin, I don't like to wear just because I feel like it's not the perfect balance. Bottega did a bag like that. That's really pretty. But you guys know I'm very like more of an androgynous style, but you guys know I kind of proportion things out a little bit better. Just a little bit. See, this is kind of a good color. I should actually bring out my bright shot. I think it'd be a really good idea to bring out, especially for right now. And then they have all the body suits for 50% off. I was actually gonna wear my dark chocolate brown one today. But I find that um, these are really great because they're 34 and so with the half off, they're actually a really great deal. I'm kind of look liking this one with that, um, I have like this silk pink top and I feel like this would be a really great first piece. Oh, this is actually $20, so I think it's 50% off, so this will actually be $10. And I like that they're all thong cutouts because I always feel like thong cutouts are always better because even if they have like the full brief, sometimes they're not super, super um, seamless. This color is actually really pretty. Really pretty. I just wish these ones were a little bit thicker just because I feel like they'd be a little bit better. But this is also a more of a smaller express. I could always go to the one in the Galleria. 
and they'll probably have a little bit of a better selection but i do think oh this looks like an aritzia one that i have like the exact same color so like um these little contour sets are going to be Sergio's secret approved i love them so much and they're really really great uh prices and they wash really well too um i one thing i always get asked if i wash my body suits after every single time yes i do just because it has to be a little bit more hygienic i always wash them um but i do not dry them i let them air dry a little bit um just because they have to wear a little bit nicer if you do dry them you're gonna get a lot of peeling and that goes for the aritzia the skins just pretty much any that type of elastic material you're gonna want to wash it but don't dry it put a fabric softener on it um i never use fabric softener on any of my clothes i just put a hub on i just use regular tide um, nothing special and it gets and it makes them look good and then just let them air dry poor anti juicy penny but all you guys know they're slowly transitioning it out so it's just full price they have a little bit of rare beauty i've actually never really tried rare beauty if any of you guys have tried it let me know they're making them um they all transition into coals but they're kind of still in the transition phase this is the nissan michelle hat i really really like it it protects me really well i think it has uv protection yeah super naked there's like literally nothing in here and the things on sale except 30 percent off collection you would think they would want to liquidate it or transfer the items but i noticed when they kind of change things they don't really move things around they just kind of leave them where they're at but yeah i have one of my close friends actually works for jc penny corporate so you know i kind of get interesting to see um the stores and stuff and now she kind of gave me an appreciation a little bit more um when it comes to jc penny um, I would always kind of shop at JCPenney when I lived in Arlington at my parents' house just because my mom would always use those, you know, 10 for 25 coupons. I'm pretty sure Hispanic parents, yeah, my mostly that JCPenney was a coupon or whenever they did those 10 off 10s or back then when Black Friday was like at 5 in the morning. Like, oh my God, I remember that. But yeah, um, JCPenney is definitely going to give it a whole new light. Oh my God, let's look some of, some of the Kendra Scott. You guys know I'm a big Kendra Scott fan, and I'm going to tell you why. She's from Austin, Texas. I know she was born not in Austin, but you know that's where her company is at. And I just love everything about her. I think she's very inspirational. Um, I love Miss Kendra, and I love everything about her. I always get questions. Um, Sergio Secret has a big heart for Kendra Scott. And if anybody knows me personally, even though I don't have a whole lot of Kendra Scott jewelry, you guys know that I am a big Kendra fan. And let me know if I have any Kendra Scott fans down below, comment sections. I'm definitely one. I definitely prefer more of her um, bracelets and her necklaces. I'm not a big ring person. I'm just, I don't know, I'm not a big ring person in general. Oh my God, they have a Kelly here. Oh, look at this one, this one's really pretty. This green one brings you good luck. But I like, I'm just not a big ring person. Um, and then, oh, that's cute with a little bit of the thicker chain. Oh, that's so cute. Es esa bonita. But yeah, I love Miss Kendra Scott. She's, she does a really great jewelry. Oh, look, they have a vintage Kelly here. Definitely one of my dream bags, $1,000 for the vintage Kelly. Definitely very cute. I definitely love it. Oh, look, some of the hardware is that's $22.50. I told you what comes around goes around. This can be very pricey. $22.50 and the hardware is off. I make a TikTok, but yeah, that's very expensive. And they have a Saint Laurent wallet. But I always felt like what comes around goes around can be very expensive for what it is. They actually have a really great selection um, here. They must be able to sell through it all. Oh, look, they have some Goyard totes. That's actually not that bad, but I mean, that's way over retail. You can call the store in Highland Park Village and they can just ship you in. That manchada esta, no mames. 1950. I feel like what comes around goes around is always expensive, girl. That's why we love Fashion File. Our girls at Fashion File do a way better job. This is kind of like, I feel bad for the people that actually buy these bags. Like when they go and, you know, 
I feel like they kind of prey on people not to know what they're buying, especially if there's not a distribution of that store. Well, here in the Woodlands, we are about to open a Gucci store. I did look at the Market Street Victoria, and there's a Louis Vuitton, but I feel like they prey even like in the smaller like dealers and stuff for people that don't have access. But I feel like it could be a little bit of a ripoff. I think they're severely overpriced. These are already on sale. These are just new. I saw these all over TikTok. This cherry one is super cute. I love little cherries with the little glitter details. That one's cute. And these newer styles. I like the strap that doesn't say coach. I kind of prefer these interlocking ones a little bit. Like the link ones a little bit better. I feel like they go a little bit more. But yeah, they have like a lot of these that are newer style. But they even have the classic one on sale. They have the classic one for 20% off. It never goes on sale. I'm gonna see if I can get a link for you guys. That one's new. They have like a lot of the newer styles. Even this little studio one. I don't know if it's just this store, but they have like these are forty percent off. Even like the cherry little peri toe looking one. I know this one went on. I really like the high gloss on it. I feel like it looks a little inexpensive, and that's why I did not buy it. Like it has like a really bad sheen to it. It looks like it, the bag is sweating. I wish it was more matte. That's why I didn't end up going for it. Like, look how, like, it looks oily. It looks super oily. I mean, my friend actually texted me when it first came out to see if I wanted to buy it. But he said, honestly, I don't think you'll like it. And it's because it's too oily. And the picture looks a lot more matte, but it looks super oily. Like, as you can see in the camera, which I don't really like. That's why I didn't end up going for them. Kate Spades are pretty, too. 48 I could justify that it has a little bit of the detail on there but honestly I have not seen like but honestly I feel like Kate Spade has been into so like Kate Spade's a price some stuff that I don't know I feel like it's kind of hard for me to justify to buy some Kate Spade bags full price I don't know if that's just me um so you guys can let me know if you think that's just me but I don't know some their bags are really pretty but I don't know, I feel like for that price point, I'd much rather buy, like, Coach, um, full price, you know what I mean? Gabby, you guys know that. Oh, see, like, this Coach, I mean, this Kate Spade, like, this thing, their incorporation kind of, like, as a rainbow bag, like, a Pride Month bag. See, this is something that, 278, this is something that I like, because it's not super, like, rainbow, it's not super gay. That's why I don't like, I don't like things that are super, super, like, gay as far as, like, rainbow. I like how this one incorporates a lot of different colors, but it's not like rainbow, you know what I mean? That's actually a really well done, like, I guess Pride Month bag, even though, I don't know, I feel like when people say Happy Pride Month, stuff like that, I always feel like it's a little cringe. This brand from Houston, Texas, I never heard of it, but here you go. I'm gonna look into it when I get home. I did see it one time, but I forgot the name of it, so I'm gonna look into it, but the bags... $4.65. Houston, Texas. We hope you love these bags as much as our family loves creating them. I'm gonna look into that. Here's my, like, the hammock backpack that I have. But obviously I have mine in kind of like that suede color and here's a lot of fun hammock bags. They even have this one which is 25% off. This little white one, this Kelly Toque. I'm gonna look into that. This round one's really pretty. This would really be pretty with it. It's 142 from 238 and this would look really pretty with a denim jacket. Like a classic Levi's trucker jacket. And they have a little bit more of the newer kind of hammock collection. Which you guys know, Hammett showed Sergio's Secret Love, so I have to show love back. And so Sergio's Secret loves Hammett, because Hammett loves Sergio's Secret Doc. That's just the way I see it. I will always 
yeah. support a brand that supports me. You know what I mean? Especially being in this where, you know, these are more women's clothing and stuff like that. Women's items. Uh, I love when they show me love because I show them love right back. So, you know, Michael Kors shows her Juicy Secret Love. I'm going to show love right back to Michael Kors. Oh, they even have Furla handbags. Oh, this is up my alley. You will be seeing this very, very soon on my channel. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got to see it in person. It's actually way better in person. And it has feet at the bottom. Oh, it has five feet at the bottom. You don't really get that nowadays. You get that. Ooh. Yes, I love this. Very booktail vibes. And here's kind of the quirky, kind of Kurt Geiger bags. Okay, oh, here's more of the Furla candy ones. Oh, this little small one's cute, but I actually prefer the larger one. That's actually a really good tote size bag, and it can fit a laptop, I could already tell. And they have a little bit of Miss Rebecca Minkoff. I feel like they don't carry a lot. This is really pretty. Three ninety eight. Ooh, this black and white one is right up my alley. This is a new style. I've been seeing a lot of promotions because I looked on their website. You know how they have cookies to track you, and so I've been seeing this. One. This one's cute. super cute but i really like this black and white one that one's really pretty and then they have the classic love bag the julian in this little glazed you know when you love handbags you already most of the time you know something the names of the bags you know what i mean uh, they're all so pretty oh and they have some curtain oh my god this little heart one is super cute i will say kurt does a really good um novelty box i will say that Then they have this black clutch, but they have been growing on me. Kurt has been growing on me. I do have a review on them, but um, this one's really cute too. They've been growing. I feel like I should do an updated review, but I'm really happy with this one. Really, really happy. I always forget to do my thumbnail, but this is the hat and this one is show. Um, here's my haircut. I asked my barber to do a maluma, but it has like a straight line. I'll show you guys in a second. I kind of like it. A wolf hat, Miso Michelle. You know, actually, Chanel makes um, Miso Michelle makes Chanel hats. If you did not know that, uh, so now you know. You know, um, the rogue Ginza sandals that I definitely need a manicure. I'm gonna get one on Tuesday. Um, well, you guys recommended me a really great place on Instagram. Also, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of great deals. My TikTok's also popping. Um, these are the good American jeans. They're so great. They're $99. They're an investment piece, but I have the Agody ones, and I paid $178. Um, they cut me really well. I definitely need a belt if I want my, like, behind to look a little bit more flattering. But I don't have a... I, didn't, I forgot to wear a belt today. The Marc Jacobs Terry Cloth. This is a tank top from the row. I'm saying I prefer, like, the Express ones that they had, like, two... I like for them to at least have cover three. Like, the original bodysuits cover, like, three fingers. And I think that's a little bit more appropriate. But, yeah. This is the outfit. And I wanted to do it because I always forget. I'm cardio in today, which I have been getting in recently. But, as you can see, maybe this is my favorite routine. Once I'm doing well, like, look how dirty these escalators are. I feel like they've been broken for a while. But, you know, getting that exercise in is always a great thing. A good American denim. Um, I took a size, I think 26. Um, and the reason why I didn't wear good American for the longest is I used to actually have, uh, when I first, first went there Nordstrom, I actually had a few pairs of good American, but then I kind of stopped wearing them. And I feel like they kind of like, had a brand rechange or something because now the denim is a lot better than what I remembered. I find that they kind of found a little bit more perfect shapes to them and they're a little bit more flattering because I feel like back then they were like 
super, super stretchy. And that's not something that I really like because like I said, I always felt like I had to wear a belt and just too much. And now I find that they're a lot more comfortable and they don't lose its shape. And I find that they're a little bit more flattering. So now I love Good American. My mom has always loved Good American. Um, she's been wearing Good American probably for, I want to say maybe since I started working at Orchard Rock. So probably maybe like three years ago two and a half years ago three years ago i don't know three and a half i feel like i go through things like every single day so i always forget but they're really good so um check them out i've been into them but i forgot how good stretchy jeans are because i've been wearing like levi's Style one some other superior a gold <laughs> which is what i typically wear so i forgot what it's like to have like a stretchy denim and i love them you'll be seeing me purchase a little bit more good american denim and i think they're phenomenal and i think and also and they were 99 which i thought good american was like more into the like 158 178 200 dollars but they've been the fits have been a little bit better you know what happened with topshop i feel like they used to be really good this is the shirt that i bought in miami I have it in the dirty laundry it's here for i paid 49 it's here for half off i'm gonna link it down below it's really great and the material is really good i wore it all day on a hot day in miami you know what i didn't realize until not too long ago the reason why nordstrom got rid of um brandy melville was because they were not size inclusive which i did not know that um open edits a new brand for them like their in-house brand and they have a lot of cute things oh i would wear this outfit those jeans are really pretty and i could tell they're good american because we're in the good american section I feel like these would fit really good like the other two ones they don't have a price i mean i feel like they had a price increase or something because all the tags are ripped off but they're really pretty and i like how the the color of it matches but yeah i've been really impressed see like 160 that's what i'm saying these ones were 99 i don't know why they were 99 but I, that's what i'm like used to like that see because they have the shorts here for see like i don't <laughs> understand how these ones were 99 and then these are 109 so maybe i don't know why but they're so good like i'm obsessed and you know as much i always love an agody because you know me like i feel like for my body shape i can really get away see there one there's some here for 135 i feel like for my body shape get away with uh wearing with wearing a little bit of everything just because i'm not really I don't have like a lot of figure like i'm very like like a guy shaped like a guy basically so i can get away with wearing all types of denim versus other people like my mom and obviously most females that watch me they maybe have to get a little bit more specialty but they've been really good it's been a really great um denim um for levi's 501s i know they have like a different line from the actual like levi's outlet or the actual, like the Levi's outlet or like the Levi's factory store or and then like obviously like price. I find that there's not really a difference a whole lot. So I usually buy my Levi's from the Levi's outlet or when on sale. I really don't pay a full price for Levi's like that. Unless they're like a staple and I need it right then and there. Um, AG is another brand that I do like, but I don't really gravitate towards them as much as I used to. Pistola is a brand that I've never tried. Some Agody, they did have a price increase like everything. Um, they went up by ten dollars. They used to be one twenty-eight. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to look at the handbags. But they have a really great selection of the tote bags. So they have the bigger one and the tiny one. The tiny, <laughs> tiny. But I like the size that I have. Here's the yellow one, and it has like a strip right here. But I like them. But I felt like that was gonna get attached a lot. So that's why I got the white one because I felt like the white one was gonna wear a little bit better. Oh, this is the new style. This is another bag that I'm gonna get very soon. You'll see it later on. And the chain is really good quality. Is that back pocket? Super cute. I just haven't decided which colorway I wanna get. These little glam locks are really tiny. They're 225, but they're really, really tiny. Oh, this one's so cute. And I love the strap on it. See, I like how it has a J like that. Ready? 
Uh, let me know what way you like it. I like this one says Marc Jacobs on it. You know, I'm a big Marc Jacobs fan and I have to have one of his bags from um, every single line. They have a little bit of Kurt Geiger bags, not a whole lot. Dillard definitely has more of the collection. These kind of rainbow ones. Super cute. I love these in the one. It reminds me of the Prada denim bag that I have in my bag, but I'm waiting for this one to get another markdown because there's a few of them, but they're super cute. I think it was kind of expensive. They were $448. And have some long shots too. How do we feel about this one? I know Emily in Paris allegedly had this, but I don't know. I feel like I'd rather get something else. See, this is what I mean with the YSL and the black on black. It already has a little bit of indentation, so you have to be a little bit careful about getting those. So I always tell people go for that. If you're gonna be very like all over your place with your bag i find that getting the black on black is may not be um, the most brightest idea just because i feel like it could get a lot of wear on it uh, very easily that's how i feel but they actually have a really great selection of tori compared to um like the fact that there's a tori boutique not too long like i mean it can, this gives me very much like more heart selection but not even stonebriar has this one's super cute the kind of patent version. This one's super cute and I like how the T on it. And so the Walker collection is no longer. They made it with um, Robinson, I think. I don't know. I think these are Robinsons. Yeah, 448. I don't remember. These used to be 338, but I remember the York totes used to be 295, not even 298. Of the black, but I like this pebbled versus the Sofiano. I think it's a better take. And then they also have um, these ones here. These are 398, and these used to be 245 when it was the York collection many years ago. Which I think it's funny how like that changes, but I do like this top one. The thing is, this is Italian leather. It's the same leather as the Walker collection. So Walker is no longer a turn into Robinson. And that, and that was told by my essay. Um, well, he doesn't work there anymore. He works there anymore because he got a designer store position um, for another boutique. And, but he, last time I was there for like two, three hours, like my last perfect vlog. And so he told me kind of like all the tea and everything, which is very nice and very interesting to hear everything. Um, I kind of want to go to the Nordstrom Rack here. Um, so follow me along, guys, because I'm going to take you guys along with me. Sorry for my dirty windshield and my expired tags. A girl goes to the gigs. But let's see, so they have a beautiful Tiffany & Co. boutique. Uh, this is actually a really pretty store. Here is the uh, Toy Birch boutique. And look, it has a little Tiffany clock. Super cute, it's actually uh, quite a big boutique. Like I said, the only reason how I know Market Street and like the Woodlands is because I, I would always watch Teresa Romer blogs, which I still watch a lot of her videos and I'll leave her channel linked down below. I watch mo almost like maybe like more than half of her video. We watch quite a bit of her videos. Oh, there's a Chanel Beauty Boutique in here. It's a, So it is kind of like Plano Legacy West, uh, kind of like that. They're going to open a Gucci Boutique. That's the Louis Vuitton Boutique. So it is pretty much like um, then Gucci's going through it because they opened one in Austin in the Domain. And now they're going to open one here. I feel so bad for not letting that lady go, but Yanni yeah, Gambario. Yeah, so here's like a little place where you can kind of like take your little pic. This is actually a really good like vlogging spot. Uh, who else is from the Woodlands? I think Lux Mommy, that's another blogger that I do watch her video. And her name's Amanda. Um, I think I watch her videos on TikTok. I've been subscribed to her for a while. So I'm gonna put you on some of my favorite YouTubers. Sorry about the bro uh, messy windshield, but um, yeah, I love Lux Mommy. I have Bath and Body Works. So there's two, there's a Johnny Was. Um, there's a Sweet Clean. But I do watch uh, do watch some of her videos, and I think they're they're really um, informative. That's what I like about her videos, and I like how her style is very like effortlessly. It's very much like you don't have to think twice about you know what you wear. It's just like kind of like, like I said, Lux Mommy, kind of like the mommy on the go. Oh look, there's a beautiful Kendra Scott boutique. Oh look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. But yeah, it is like a little shopping center, but I just kind of wanted to like drive by it. Nike, 
So there are some cute boutiques. Bonobos, which is owned by Walmart. Did you know that Walmart has a version of bon Bonobos at, in their in their stores? Uh, like a retail front, which I think is really good for kind of like that kind of clean style. Kind of like that preppy, kind of like on the go. Club Monaco, J. Crew. I'm surprised there was not like an H&M or a Zara. Maybe there is, but maybe I just didn't look hard enough. But yeah, it's super cute. They have like a lot of cute little boutiques. There's a lemon, Vineyard Vines, which is, these are all very like Southern stores. I feel like every Texas like shopping center that's like upscale has like a little lemon, a Tiffany, a Vineyard Vines, Toy Birch, very much like that. Vibe. Different angle from the Market Street Toy Birch Boutique. Uh, really pretty actually. This is actually a really great place to take pictures, um, like for blogging purposes or even for a good Instagram feed. But yeah, those are some of my Woodlands uh, YouTubers. If there's other like Houston bloggers that I should watch. Oh, and also my my homegirl Gina, I do watch some of her videos. Well, not all of them. Not, I don't watch some of her videos. I watch all her videos. She does vlogs, like, like really like longer vlogs. And you guys know I love longer vlogs when I'm like driving to Dallas because I do go to Dallas quite often. Um, or if I'm like doing like cardio, um, when I'm a little bit, you know, on the go, I do really like to watch her videos, um, because they're, like, perfect, and, you know, since I'm in Houston, they're very, very interesting to watch because I'm from Houston, so, um, I will put her YouTube channel down below. So, I'm putting you on some Houston, uh, YouTubers, or, like, Houston area, um, uh, obviously Graveyard Girl is from Houston, but I don't really watch a lot of her videos as I used to. Leanne says, used to be from Houston, but now she lives in Dallas, I am subscribed to her um dang i'm just like pulling out i feel like i'm missing like quite a bit but if there's any uh houston youtubers that you like to watch um definitely leave it down below but those are some of my favorite ones so i'll um, make sure to give them a little bit of a shout out and then obviously i talked about pocket and bows and i think who else did i talk about maybe somebody else but i'll leave it all linked down below i also forgot to say whenever i was in dallas now that i think about it um, I was in Dallas the first week of kind of like Pride Month and stuff like and I'm gonna say this because I feel like sometimes people like to twist words um, I go out obviously but like I, like Pride like when I go out I don't think of it like oh, I'm going out for Pride Week or whatever Pride Month like I just go out just like as any regular time but um, I went out on a Sunday fun day with my cousins and um, we were like, you know, we, uh, we, we were, it was like a little bit of a later and guess who I ran into and I was in complete shock. I know I'm really oily, it's because of my sunscreen, which I will reapply in a second. Um, I'll do what's in my bag before I get to North Mac. I saw Lush's Massacre and I'll insert the picture here. And you guys know, I'm not the type of person to go up to people like, I went to the Abbey last time when I was in LA. I saw Laura Lee, Manny MUA. I think one of the times I saw Sam, uh, Sam, Sam Smith. And girl, like, I see them as regular people. Like, I don't really, like, I don't ask for pictures or anything. But girl, Miss Thing, Luscious Massacre, the BB Fantasy, Miss Thing. I saw Luscious Massacre and I was not intoxicated. I was just like, I was so in shock. I said, is that Luscious Massacre? Is that Luscious Massacre? And you know, I watch all of Luscious Massacre's videos. I'm always up in the live stream. And you know, I do watch like YouTubers, but like I may not comment or anything, but you know, I notice everything. That's a real tea. But I saw Luscious Massacre and I was so excited. Like I went from like, you know, like whatever, like Sunday fun day. And I was like, oh my God, that's Luscious. And I, I was like, are you Luscious Massacre? And I said, like, can I? It's like, I watch all your videos. I'm a big fan. You know, I don't fangirl. I don't fangirl about anybody. I just don't. Like, that's just, like, I just see everybody as regular human beings. Like, you know, but I saw Luscious Massacre and I was so excited. And he was so nice. I think he, uh, he was with Sha Angela. I think they were all out together. Um, you know, I, I, I was there for, for uh, Luscious Massacre and I fangirled. I was like, I love Luscious Massacre so much. And my friend was like, who is that? Like, who is that? I was like, I never seen you. Um, my friend, my, at that point, my, some of my friends met me up 
and I was with my cousins too and they're like who is that like dang like he he really changed your attitude like you were just like you know whatever and then you went from like oh my god like contento like my energy changed I was like oh my god luscious massacre I met him I was so excited he's from the valley shout out to the valley which is like south Texas and um yeah, so I'm gonna shout out Luscious Massacre as well. Not that any of the people need my validation uh, that I'm saying in this video, but I'm just saying like, girl, I was so happy. I was like, my bucket list was to meet Ma Luscious Massacre, girl. You know, I, you know, I don't like I said, I don't fangirl about like a lot of things. No me pongo chiflado. Like obviously, like maybe like Kendra Scott. Like some people fangirl over like Beyonce or like I don't even know who's popular. Beyonce, uh, Beyonce. I'm just playing like. Uh, like Beyonce, Drake, I don't know who else is popular, the Jonas Brothers, I don't know, Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus. Like, I really, I, like, I'd be like, oh, like, you know, whatever. Like, I, I listen to the music, I love it, but there's only a few people that I fangirl about, and he is one of them. Like, Kendra, if I were to meet Kendra Scott, if I were to meet Anina Bing, if I were to meet Tom Ford, if I was to meet, like, I just have different tastes of people that I fangirl about, and girl, the Luscious Massacre was definitely one of them, and he is just as nice just as sweet like he was like yeah baby come on like how he be talking to his live streams that's how he really is in person and he just put such a bright smile and he made my night he made my week i really needed that and he gave me like i could feel his good energy and so yeah i did meet luscious massacre and he was the entire vibe and i was so happy like uh like luscious massacre sergio secret loves you so 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 much Honey, 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 honey. Like, things that he says, like, uh, I get some of his lingo, especially when I was first watching his channel. You can kind of see in some of my videos, Andava, like, Dol Hyper. Girl, it's because Miss Luscious Massacre uh, would hype me up. And I love Luscious Massacre. So, shout out to him. I love him so much. And now we are in Nortrum Rack, now that I've been talking for a few minutes. And so, let's go ahead and go in and see what they have to <laughs> there's another Bath and Body Works here. So there's uh, there's an Old Navy. So dang. So we have like literally three, three Bath and Body Works in like not even like a three mile radius. Me di cuenta that it doesn't have a lot. Some straight whites, man. Made in Spain. These are cute. But I don't know. I just find that, no sé, maybe I'm being a little negative. Cause maybe that's the energy that I brought in in here, but I don't know, friends. No sé, amigas. Siento como en este como no sé por qué no. You would think this one would have the good things. Even the, all the other ones. Those cushions are actually cute. Ves, no más 34 No mames. I mean, I love the little jacquard print. Pero no mames, way like mera verdad. Hablo como si soy de Monterrey. Pero, no mames, la mera verdad, no, no hay tanta variedad en esta tienda. Y pa' lonche, comemos cava. I have not had this since I was in Dallas, and I missed it so freaking much. Y pues, es lo que vamos a comer right now, so I'm so excited. Okay, this, like, whatever bowl this is, it is so good. I have not had it since I was in Dallas. I used to have this all the time when I was working in Dal in uh, North Park. Chicken and white rice. It's really, really good. I'm about to eat it. I'm about to drive home. But it's like a 35 minute drive home. So I'll talk to you guys when I get home because I'm going to show you some goodies. And then before I end the video, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching um, this video. And there are some other YouTubers that I left out that are from Houston. Um, one of my favorite friends. I'll leave her channel linked down below. Um, I don't know if I said Autumn Beckman, that's another one, Rich Lux is another one, so um, I'll leave some Houston bloggers down below, and if I'm missing any, or if there's other ones that I just don't know, or maybe I forgot, definitely let me know down below. Girl, when I was eating that cava, girl, I slammed on my brakes, y no mames lo manche, so I have to clean that baby up. This is in the small size, it only came in a mini and small, I wish it came in a larger size, which was for $2.95, I'll leave it linked down below, but I want to do a mini what's in my bag. So my Prada um, little denim bag that I got at the San Marcos outlet probably like a year and a half ago. It is a retail item and I love it. I have a Peter Thomas Roth sunscreen. You guys know 
I always am sunscreened and I always put them, even if I'm wearing like a short sleeve, I always wear it. Uh, Summer Friday Slip Balm, love it. Um, this is from Dossier Fragrances. Um, I've been trying this out. I'll probably talk about this in my next video, but um, I, I, I've really been liking them. So um, I'll do another, I do a video on this later. Like I'll talk about it, but I do have them trying that out. Unnecessary hand cream. Uh, this rose ink a little eyebrow tint and I'll leave all these products down below for you guys in case if you want it And the inside it has like the Prada retail lining because the outlet styles um, Don't have this Prada detail in it and it's pretty plaque also the Versace and Toy Birch private sales have started So I'll leave those links down below for you guys um, I have my Celine glasses should probably be in the case la mera verdad I have Dior Lip Glow, which I actually hate. I had bought like a white one, but I lost it. So I have to repurchase that. I usually, I let my friends borrow them. Can I borrow some lip balm? And I never get it back. Um, that's what happens to all of them. I have a deodorant. I have like seven of these. I like literally, I would never finish one. My wallet, which probably needs a good cleaning because sometimes there's days where I don't carry my handbag, especially if I'm going to go out um, like in an Uber and stuff. I Ever since my watch got stolen, I'm kind of a little bit more discreet on not carrying like bags and a little bit stuff like that so i love this hermes wallet just because it's a little bit more on the discreet side and it just has everything and it's it looks a little plastered and that's fine um i'm not planning to sell this or anything anytime soon i just like that it flits in every wallet or trouser that i have um I have my sunglasses which come in this big case and these are my prada simple glasses and the white um i have a picture of yo y mi madrina this was me when i was a baby this is my madrina denise uh I have this in here. I don't know why. I, f I found it in my kitchen counter and I throw it in a bag. So like I said, every bag has like something different in it. Um, this is a, a, what do you call it? A lit roller. And I got a lit roll being my hat. I have Apple AirPods. I always have a portable charger on me. This is from Inker. I got this at Target like a while back. Tom Ford lip liner. And this is in the color Invite. Um, I have these and these kind of control and I can take pictures and videos. Um, when I'm like taking full bodies, when I take pictures by myself, I usually have two or three of them just because one always tends to fell on me. So um, I don't want to make that mistake again. So I keep more than one. I have ooh, some Tic Tacs. And that's what I have in the bag. I definitely need a lint roller. Um, I have been trying to cut down on cigarettes. I have not smoked a cigarette in like over a week and a half. Um, and so I don't have any cigarettes on me. Uh, I've been really trying to cut down on that, but this is what I have in my bag and then my car keys are in my kitchen counter But this is what I have in my bag and yeah, I sometimes, I, sometimes I don't really show you guys what I have But this is what I have um, in my bag as of now And yeah